Hi everybody. I've got a beef about lumber. Um, this year we're working on a little bit of a garden project with some uh, raised boxes in our room trellis. And so I've been purchasing some lumber to, to, to build it. I normally buy my lumber at Home Depot uh, just because the quality, uh, convenience when I'm at work uh, and the, the price overall. But this week I was actually near a Kent store and instead of having to drive all the way to Home Depot I said, hmm, I'll buy some lumber at Kent. Well, that lumber at Kent is going back. Um, just to show you some of the differences, this is some uh, 2x10x10s. Ten by tens. This one here is from Home Depot. This one here is from Kent. Um, just for overall price, uh, Kent $9.99 for a 2 by 10 by 10 uh, and eleven dollars and sixty cents at Kent, um, a buck sixty a piece. If you're buying one piece and it's uh, closer to you, it might be more convenient. Uh, but when you're talking multiple pieces, it gets expensive. And another thing, look at the quality. Um, this board here, just just look at it. It's it's clean, pretty much not free, no spalls taken out of it. Um, it's in pretty good shape. This one here, uh, some sort of mold, you know, spalls taken out of it, very rough cuts on the end. Um, as you see, it goes down, other knots on the end, and when you get down towards the other end, it even, it even tapers in uh, a little bit. And this was a good one that I found at Kent. Uh, in order to get this one at Home Depot, which they're all inside, I had to pick through hmm, three pieces in order to find this one. Uh, this one, I picked through maybe six pieces in order to get this one of this quality. This, actually the ones that I discarded at Home Depot were in better condition than this. Um, and it's, it's crazy. Uh, another thing, uh, Home Depot, when I went in there just recently, I just got into the store and took out my list and was just looking at my list and figuring out where the wood was when someone came over and asked me that I need any help. When I was at Kent to pick up this, um, oh, back to Home Depot, like they, they had the measurements and the prices right underneath the lumber. At Kent, they just had them stacked relatively neatly, but no prices, no dimensions, no nothing. Now, luckily, you know, I've done a, you know quite a bit of construction work or building around the house, so I could pretty much tell the dimensions of the wood. But for anybody uninitiated, it was crazy. Plus, I couldn't find anybody to ask any questions or to give me a hand if I needed it. Well, actually, I did see four guys, you know, over at the end of the yard uh, talking, but neither one of them came over to to you know offer their assistance. Um, so that that's it on on you know my thoughts about those two companies when I'm dealing with the the the, the, the staff there, um, and also I'm just going to do a, a very uh, high tech moisture testing. I'm actually going to will pick these boards up and stand on a weigh scale and weigh them and see how much moisture is in it. Like I know this one is full of moisture, this one very very dry. So I'm just going to uh, just weigh them now and then see what it actually works out to be. So you can also see that there is a weight difference between the two from Kent and Home Depot. The 2 by 10 by 10 uh, is actually 5.5 pounds heavier than the one at Home Depot. So that is entirely moisture. Uh, so that's crazy. And so what I've shown you here is actually the other side of the board. Uh, this is the Home Depot, once again, pretty much not free. Uh, this is the other end of that 2x10. I just turned it around just to show you the end there. And again, this is the good one that I picked out at Kent. Uh, as you can see, um, there's knots in it. This side is a tiny bit better, but you can just look at this edge here. It's all very, you might be able to see, it's all very rough, whereas the Home Depot is very smooth. So anyway, there you have it. Home Depot lumber versus Kent. 
um, you know, I guess it's pretty clear to see, uh, you know, where my money is going to be going from now on. You know, Kent, you may be Atlantic Canadian, but you sure don't sell good lumber. Uh, my money is going to go towards the Big Orange. Thanks for watching.